Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today I'll be giving you the rundown on the King of Fairies, Oberon. So Oberon was released alongside the Cicero event during Update 11.5, and let's face it, there's nothing more appropriate than unleashing a satyr to protect the forests of Earth. So Oberon is what they're referring to as the Paladin frame, and I can personally attest that his strong mix of stats, utility, and offense make him one solid addition to the Warframe roster. His parts are dropped by Counselor Vehek in the Everest assassination mission on Earth, while his blueprints are available in the market for 30,000 credits. You can also pick him up pre-built for 325 plat, or if you want to go big, you can pick up the Paladin bundle which includes Oberon, the K-Rack, Stug, and Magistar, along with a couple boosters for 600 plat. Now let's take a look at Mr. Magical's abilities. His first ability, Smite, deals damage to a target who promptly explodes with holiday cheer and shoots out spirally ribbons that fling themselves out in the general direction of other enemies. These ribbons will bounce off terrain and continue to seek out new targets for a short duration. Now, to be honest with you, the energy ribbons aren't the best at hitting additional targets. They act like very slow-moving glaives. But then again, they're spirals of ribbons, so how smart do we really expect them to be, right? His next ability is Hallowed Ground. Oberon targets the area in front of him and sanctifies it with quote-unquote Righteous Fire that deals continuous damage to any enemies that stand on it. Okay, first and foremost, this does not look like any kind of fire I've ever seen. It's more like fairy sparkles, but regardless of what it is or what it isn't, this is definitely a fun ability as you can set this out in tight hallways, forcing enemies to take damage if they want to get to you. In fact, if you toss on a streamline and a flow, you can easily cover entire areas with fairy sparkle, whittling your enemies down before they can even get within targeting range. And to continue with the fairy theme, Renewal unleashes a band of sprites that seek out your fellow teammates, regenerating their health over time. There's a couple things to note here. Unlike Blessing, Renewal's little sparkly orbs have a considerable flight time to find their targets, so the further you are away, the longer it's going to take for teammates to get the heals they need. Next, be aware that the health regeneration only applies to targets who are currently missing health, so only cast this once your teammates have taken damage. Lastly, while I haven't seen this occur myself, apparently Renewal's healing over time can actually resurrect players. I'm not sure if this is intended, but I'm sure I'll add some form of annotation if this is confirmed to be working properly. Oberon's final ability is Reckoning. He coats his enemies in fairy magic, levitating them into the air, and then smashing them down into the ground, dealing damage and potentially converting any enemies killed by this ability into health orbs. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty straightforward one, right? I don't need to go. Yeah, we're good. Now there's one thing I want you to be very aware of when you play Oberon. When they say he's a paladin frame, they definitely mean a paladin and not a cleric. As an avid Trinity player, I can attest to the fact that they definitely have different playstyles, Trinity being more focused as a straight up support frame, while Oberon is more of a soldier with the ability to help sustain. So keep in mind that although his renewal is a great healing tool, it's not going to generate enough health to sustain a warframe through continuous fire, and the healing itself doesn't occur instantly. And as for Reckoning, it does deal a nice amount of damage and can take out most light armor targets. But you do have to remember that the skill only gives a chance of a health orb per kill and does not guarantee it. So while Oberon is a pretty solid frame, don't let the hype fool you into thinking that he's gonna take the place of Trinity. Thank you guys for watching another episode of The Rundown. If you guys liked what you saw, do me a favor and do the thing that I ask you to do at the end of every single one of these videos. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more gaming content here at A Gay Guy Plays.